Hi, my name is Graham Campbell. Um, I teach at the Appalachian Centre for Craft in uh, Middle Tennessee, uh, where I've been teaching for 20 years now. I've been involved with making fine furniture and studio furniture for close on 30 years now. I talk funny because I grew up in South Africa. Um, the piece that I, that's in the show here is an unusual piece for me. It kind of evolved. Usually my work is much more premeditated. Uh, but this one came out of an, an odd chunk of wood that uh, I harvested with a friend, a uh, large, large cherry that came down. And uh, inside was uh, an old branch that had been cut off. And when we harvested the tree, this was revealed inside as this amputated limb. And it hung around and dried in my studio. It was a very thick piece of wood, so it took a long time, years, uh, while I was mulling over what to do with this particular thing. Um, and then I started making a bench. I just said, I'm just going to do this. Started making a bench. And it started looking to me this massive chunk of wood, somewhat like African furniture that's carved out of large sections of trees rather than assembled from smaller elements as European furniture is. Uh, so I found uh, a name for it, an African name, which happened to be a uh, Congolese soccer player who had this great name, Kabamba Musasa, and put it together and became Kabamba Musasa. Uh, and because he's a soccer player, I gave the piece little studs on the soles of his shoes. And that was it for a while. And it went around and I piddled around with it a little bit, worked with it a little bit. And then I was reading about King Leopold II of Belgium, who in uh, 1893 at the Berlin Conference, where the European powers divided Africa between themselves, he acquired for his personal use the Congo, as we know it today, an area of a million square miles. Uh, so over the next 20 years, he went into the Congo with his henchmen and employees and exploited it as quickly and as dramatically as he could, particularly for ivory and rubber, which is just becoming a big thing, a big need. There was a natural uh, uh, rubber growth within the Congo. And the way he did it was he would conscript or demand from the local population that they went out and secured the rubber or the ivory in quotas. And one of the methods that he used to uh, enforce this was amputation of limbs. So if you didn't meet your quota, the left hand got cut off. Very nice guy. Uh, and various other means. Uh, so for 20 years this went on, it really disrupted the local populations within the Congo, the local structures, uh, turned the area into disaster zone. And uh, estimations range from between 10 and 20 million deaths over a 20 year period in that area. Uh, so this was sort of on my mind and it made uh, a connection to this piece, A being Congolese name, a being African, uh, B being African, and then see this amputated limb connection which struck a chord. So I decided to turn this into something of a memorial bench. Um, and one of the things that Leopold was famous for was at one stage he was asked about supreme power, or power as exerted by royalty, and he declared that the state, it is I and huge arrogance. So I kind of appropriated that title for Kabbalah Sassim. 